Uh, let's talk about some races that we have coming up on Flow. So Classica de San Sebastian, which um, is a two, uh, I'm sorry, a single day stage race. We're going to be uh, showing the men's and women's races. Um, Basque country, beautiful part of Spain. I actually was there in 2019 to see the Vuelta. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. There's going to be some tour uh, repeats. Um, Ala Philippe, of course. It, San Sebastian is going to be an interesting race this year because it, it's this one day race. It is it's a super cool, just like you said, Basque Country. Like you love to see a bike race in the Basque Country, hilly, dynamic. Favors mountain climbers, though, uh, for sure. Uh, favors kind of climbers. Uh, Buck Molema has done very well. At this. You you want to be a climber who can get away in a breakaway. That's that's traditionally how this goes. But it's right after the tour, so you get kind of like mm -hmm. differing motivations. And then this year you have the Olympics on top of it. It is super cool one day race, men's and women's world tour event, and. Always puts on a show, something to look forward to. We also have the Vuelta Burgos. Vuelta Burgos. So we've already shown the women's race back in May, um, and that was won by Anna van der Bergen. And then we've got upcoming the men's race, which is a five-day stage race, um, also in a very, very beautiful part of Spain that I personally haven't been to. Um, really excited about some of the racers that are going to be there. Um, Remco also won that one in 2020. So he, before the injury, was you know gosh at 22 i think he's he's still 21 if 20? Even a tw a 20, 20? It, i think he might he's have still been a teenager I, I think he's younger yeah he chose not to race um and compete in u23 to participate at the elite level yeah um so you know we'll see if if i doubt he's going to be there if he's going to be doing the olympics but you know it leaves the door open for other athletes to to really step it up there. Yeah, so, so these are both races that Eventipol just dominated in the past. And, and I've got to go back, actually, and uh, w w we've got to show the clip of just Remco Eventipol. He, he, he was dropped at Classica San Sebastian in 2019, the last time we did this race. <laughs> he was dropped, basically came back to the lead group, <laughs> was kind of putting himself into a support role for the rest of his Dakuna Quickstep teammates, attacked, and then and just... And just had it, and kept it, and stuck it. <laughs> and along. then just kept going. Yeah, he, he just came back from the grave in that race. It was one of the coolest victories I've seen. So, yeah, like I said, these, these are cool races in Spain. And, again, all building up towards the Vuelta, which is going to be a really good show in 2021.